everybody so today I have here this is the Asus vivo book s 533 f and it's in here because whenever you turn it on it goes from here and it sticks at the bio screen every single time so uh, we want to go ahead and take a look at the issue there uh, and see what really the problem is most likely what's doing it's probably not detecting the OS so it's going right to bios or if it doesn't detect a possible drive in there it's going to do the same thing as well so we're going to go ahead and double check we're going to walk through those steps there and see if we can do the repair so the, the first thing we want to do we want to go ahead to check to see if we can even detect the drive here um, usually that's number one thing or at least detect an OS something here in a boot overwrite menu you would see that we see here it just says launch EFI shell I think this thing's auto focusing crazy so focus on my hand but uh, it's, it would say it here if there's an OS, at least we can go to part where it's save and exit. If you have like a bootable device, you have a bootable drive, it will say, say it right here. We can at least see it. We don't see anything obvious. We don't see any other type of things. I, I do notice that this does have uh, Intel rapid storage technology, which usually has a RAID. And they're very well known, uh, especially like Optane drives. They usually have this, or this could be maybe an SSD that has Optane. Maybe that's failed. Um, it does have that. It does say that there is an Intel RST 17 RAID driver, and there's no disconnected. So most likely there is a problem maybe with the drive itself, or there's a problem with this RAID uh, connection because we can tell that this had originally, um, at least the manufacturer gave this thing an Intel uh, RAID driver. We can check an OS, but I really think it's kind of we can check the OS and see, but most likely it's a waste of time because it doesn't see it in here. But let's go ahead and do it anyway. I'm just gonna go flash that real quick, and I'll see. I do have like a Windows uh, bootable. I can do that. I can check it with. We have like Windows 10 to go. We have we have these type bootables. If you're interested in that, you can actually see how we boot these and how we make them. So we can go ahead and turn it off now. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm just going to go boot to that device. And it should do it automatically here. If not, we can go through like F12 or, or F2 and do that. It won't be a problem. So we are into our test OS. And this is through the bootable drive that we have in here. So we can actually go check, we can check like File Explorer. We can go to this PC and see the only drive we see here is a bootable or Windows 10 bootable C. We can right click the disk menu there and go to disk management. And what disk management is gonna do is gonna show you all the connected drives and everything that's actually in there. So it only shows that there is a disk zero, our disk zero is our bootable. So we don't actually have a drive in here. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go open this up and check to see uh, the, the drive. And the back cover comes off just like that. All right, so first thing we want to do is unplug the battery. Uh, these ones have a little bit of latches in there. So you want to unplug always before you do any type of work. This one pops up like this, just like that. And then this comes off. Just use, You can use your fingernail or something. There you go. So now we're not worried about shorting or anything. Here's the drive in here. And we need to remove it. We'll go ahead and check it out. Okay, let's go see if there's any damage to this drive or if there's anything that we notice. Um, it's covered up, has like little patches, probably like a little bit of like a sticker there. So this is the Intel SSD66P, which usually has Optane built right into it. What we wanna do is we wanna see if we can connect it. It doesn't even feel really warm at all. So there might be a problem with the drive itself. Let's go ahead and see if we can connect it to our at least computer see if we get any drive and uh, obviously if we just swap it out it might work we have an adapter here I can at least go ahead and check it real quick otherwise it, it may need like a uh, data recovery but I have an NVMe to USB adapter I'm gonna go plug it in see if I get anything okay it did actually come up and it just showed it as a bit locker so I'm not sure if this is actually a problem with the drive itself there um, it did give me a an identification thing. Uh, let me actually go show you guys on my desktop. So I'm gonna go switch to there, my screen capture. You see this? This is the local disk F, the one I plugged in, and it is bit locked. So it, it did recognize right away, it is blinking. So I'm not too sure if that really is uh, the major issue now, if it's mainly a problem with that. Now it seems like it could be a problem more with the driver or something else. So we wanna see if we can actually just fix this without replacing the drive. So let's go ahead, we're gonna go put it back in and we're gonna go see if we can just maybe install like a driver or something, or if we find something else on there. Sometimes with these ones, because they have a module on there, there's an Optane module that could be giving problems. Okay, now it's actually recognized now and it's going to, to BitLocker Recovery which in a way is a good thing. Sometimes this screen gets it because um, what we might have done too is since we unplugged it, we actually <laughs> could reset the BIOS information there too. 
So uh, we did notice that, that that did that. So there's probably some setting in the BIOS that got reset while we unplugged the battery. Uh, that's kind of what it looked like it happened. The only time it asks usually for bit lock recovery is obviously if you change settings in the BIOS. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we see in here. Uh, we see that there's NV configuration. Let's click that and we do see that there's an Intel SSD drive. It shows the NVMe controller for it. And if we go to even save and exit, we see that there's now a Windows boot manager, which it does recognize that there's a Windows boot. And that's why we get the BitLocker recovery key uh, when we go into it. So it looks like resetting the BIOS, which is pretty much just even unplugging this device and um, plugging it back in is going to actually show um, that there is uh, a drive presence. Most likely there was some type of BIOS setting that it didn't see. If we go to the SATA configuration, we can see that the SATA mode selection is actually Intel um, RST Premium with Intel Optane system acceleration. And we also see that there's AHCI. The Intel RST Premium does have a module SSD itself that does have uh, Intel Optane built into it. And that does give problems. There's a separate driver. It's just another point of failure. It's supposed to help um, Excel and give better performance for drives, but they put a lot in the retail laptops that it can show this issue. So what we need to do now, it looks like that this is actually all good. Probably what, what all we needed to do was just do a uh, uh, restore the default settings that would do it or if you just unplug the battery i would also do that as well but this would probably be easier so i'm sure if we started by just doing the restore the default settings on this bios most likely we would be getting back our driver and we would be seeing it then all we need to do is enter in uh, the bitlocker recovery key and we will be able to boot to windows because if we do save and configuration and exit that's what it's going to do it's just going to show that and um, i just want to test one more thing before we go um, if, if you're not sure of the BitLocker recovery key and you don't care about your data and we can just wipe it, most likely what we can do is let's plug in our installer, our Windows 11 installer, and let's actually boot from there and see if we can see the drive again. And we see that there's all the partitions now and uh, we, can, we would just delete each one of them. We're not going to do it now because we obviously want to make sure that we see the customer sees his data and uh, everything's going to be okay. You're going to see on this one partition, it's not going to make any sense. It says drive zero has 475 out of 475 free space, which is the full space, it means there's nothing there. It's because it's encrypted and there's a bit locker. It's not letting you see the data. So that's why you see that there. We'll do that. We'll go ahead and check it out, see if they want to recover the data with a bit locker recovery key. Otherwise, this will be all good to go. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on how to see the drive on, on the Asus VivoBook S533F. This one does have an a Intel Optane module that does have the RST acceleration there. So this one doesn't have a separate CMOS. Unplugging the battery is going to make sure there's no voltage going to it, and then it's going to reset it itself. So it's going to reset all the default settings uh, for there, and then you're going to be back to normal. You're going to actually show all the default settings as you do the factory settings that are there. Anyways, guys, if this helped you guys, please leave a like. It really helps us a lot. We do hard drive recovery. We do liquid spill repairs. Go ahead, check us out, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.